Hello guys and gals, welcome to one of how to smartphones tutorial videos on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. If you guys find this video helpful, be sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys like to see other helpful tips and tricks on the Note 8, check out that playlist in the description below. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to check to see if a device has been reported lost or stolen, if it's blacklisted, if you're able to activate it, or anything like that. So if you are going to buy a device offline, eBay, Craigslist, whatever you're using, I would strongly recommend asking for the IMEI number and checking it to see if it's been reported lost or stolen, if it's clean, if it's ready to go. So here is the way to get the number, the IMEI number. So if somebody asks you, if you're a seller on eBay and somebody asks you, this is the way to um, find the number. If so you're trying to get the number from somebody and they say, I don't know how to do it, you can share this video with them and this will show them how to do it. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is start off by going into settings. Once you're in settings, go ahead and scroll down all the way to the bottom. You will see about phone. It talks about the status, the, um, the information about the device. So we'll go ahead and select that. And from here, we will see that there is a bunch of different stuff we can pick from. We're going to go ahead and select status. And from here, we can see about the fourth one down is IMEI information. So go ahead and select that. And once you have that, you will see there is the IMEI information right there. That's the IMEI information off my device. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I like to use a uh, website called Swappa. Um, it does give you a lot of information on the device. So what we're going to want to do is go ahead and I'm just going to, you can copy that number, write it down. If somebody sends it to you through an eBay message, you can copy it and just paste it. So now I'm going to go ahead and do is go into that Swappa website, which is right here. And then right up here, you just go ahead, type in your number, uh, the IMEI number. You can copy, paste it, and then go ahead and select check ESN. There's another uh, freesncheck.com. Uh, you can use that as well. It's going to ask you for a carrier, whatever the device is, whatever the carrier is on the device. They're going to ask that. They're going to need that information. But um, this one doesn't usually doesn't ask for it, and it gives you a bunch of other information. So as we can see, it's, um, it's not indicated on the blacklist. Um, and as far as the activation status goes, it's clear. Device appears to be activation ready. Um, and then if you're buying a device or selling it right over here You can go ahead and check to see which device you have the one that I have is the AT&T one Which is this first one and you guys can see the price ranges from about six hundred dollars to eight hundred and twenty five So if you're buying or selling that kind of gives you a range um, If I was buying I'd be looking more towards a six hundred dollar range if I was trying to get top dollar for my device I would be uh, trying to sell around the eight hundred dollar range. So there you guys have it That is how to check your IMEI on the note 8 to see if the device has been reported lost or stolen i hope you guys find this video helpful if you did go ahead give me a thumbs up that's all i got for you guys on this one if you guys have any comments questions or concerns drop them in the comment section below that's all i got for you guys thanks for watching have a nice day